Dr. Purdue from Two Happy Children Farm. This video is about terminating the field peas and trying to figure out what's the best time to do that here in Central Texas. And uh, since we're in a no-till crop here, uh, Central Texas, we're always concerned with weed control. Our average temperature in December and January are very conducive for growing weeds, usually in the 45, 50 degree range. So we have to do a pass in the fall uh, with the residual that'll hold the weeds down. Uh, so part of my research here is to check out how these field peas do that job as well as um, giving nitrogen and possible other benefits as well. So right here, um, I took a pass where I terminated with a quart of glyphosate and the burning you see there is from uh, three ounces of Valor and then that was just done with uh, ammonium sulfate. Uh, this was done last Saturday and right now. So you can see it's responding well. So that's one thing I needed to figure out is um, what's a good recipe for terminating uh, the field. So that's part of my experiment. The other part of the experiment is how do these uh, cover crops contain the weeds that I normally have here. So my thinking is um, I've left this area of the field and I'm going to let it terminate on its own. We're at 2300 heat units since planting on August 19th. I put about 60 pounds to an acre with my no-till corn planter and in this case I used uh, feed cups. Next year I'm going to use uh, the Kinsey brush meters and I'll probably cut my rate in half and cover more acres. But a typical weed we're looking at here would be in bit during the winter, and I don't see a lot of that. Uh, appropriate weed here. Um, and also volunteer field corn. So this uh, crop was vigorous enough with that planting date to drown out the volunteer field corn. So if this works, um, in the future this uh, crop would replace my normal December burn down with uh, either Amberzine and glyphosate or Valor and glyphosate. And uh, this should self-terminate. This year we've had a warmer December, November. It's 75 today and the winds are coming in from the south, it'll be 80 tomorrow. Our typical first freeze is December 1st, and uh, we're well into December, or December 9th now. We may get a light freeze this Sunday, but the plan with this, this crop would be self-terminating with a freeze, or just typical um, aging out. Sometime by, hopefully, late January, this would be all dead and crispy. That's the other variable I don't know is how to plant through this crop, which is why I terminated part of it early. And we'll see if it's easier to plant through with an early termination versus, uh, I think this case is the worst case year where we get a late freeze to terminate it. So we'll see which one is easier to plant through and if I made the right choice. The other part of uh, cover crops we're looking at is of course how much nitrogen are we going to get from this crop and uh, we're going to prepare a nitrogen study here. Um, our typical nitrogen rate in Central Texas here has been 150 to 160 pounds applied during the season. Uh, we do a split app half and half and uh, I'd like to see this crop give me some nitrogen so we're going to do some analysis and uh, what I did was this is maybe a little unusual is we did a tissue test I'm going to get down out of the wind a little here and have you guys look at the tissue test that we took a couple weeks ago um, what we wanted to know was if we were getting uh, nitrogen production from this field and how well the uptake was of the other nutrients so this was taken around bloom early bloom phase and we're seeing nitrogen doing really well the uptake of phosphorus and potassium are really well 
and also some of my micros that you just don't know um, how they're going to do with this type of crop and so that's good information. Um, correlating this to some soybean trials just for fun they said I was a 60 bushel soybean crop at these nutrient levels. Um, so going forward in, into next year um, I'm probably going to do a like a 50% nitrogen application and a 75% nitrogen uh, rate and uh, we'll see if, if we can get um, some pounds of nitrogen out of this crop. This is what it looks like. You see in the pods, you see in a nice big plant. Um, nice beautiful stuff here. So that's an update from Two Happy Children Farm looking at weed control and uh, the nitrogen benefits from this crop as well as plantability by doing the early um, burn down. So thanks for watching and uh, hopefully in the next video I'll be showing you a bunch of dead material sometime in January.